first. Scoffing junk food is as addictive as smoking and taking drugs, new research has found. Scientists conducted tests on rats and now believe that burgers, chips and sausages program the brain into craving more sugary and fatty snacks, causing the body to be dependent on a bad diet in the same way that you can become addicted to cocaine or heroin heroin. Now, it's not clear how applicable the findings are to humans, but, you know, bearing all that in mind, what would you say your weakness is, Zoe? Oh, definitely, like, hundreds and hundreds of us is sugar. And I wish that I didn't have a sweet tooth, but I do. And it's like, when I go on a diet and I do really well, and then I come off, fall off the bandwagon, and I just think, I'll be all right, I'll just have a bit of whatever, sweet or chocolate. And then you want more, don't you? So I do think it is. And I know you might, you, you might, might say, oh, well, you know, just say no, use your willpower. But yeah. I can't be friends with people with willpower. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very addictive, isn't can't. it? That's anything, you well, know, it is. pretty sugar. I know, I love sugar. And do you know what it makes me, well, not poorly, but say if I um, went to the fair and had some candy floss, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> eh? Oh, but you know what? I'll be asleep three hours later. That's what the effect that it has on but me. you see, it's, that's wrong, that. Because sugar actually makes you hyper sugar. Yeah, but then you crash. Oh, oh no, do you? I crash and burn. But, but years also, ago, the, the problem with all of these, <laughs> the problem with all of these things is it, it's not, you know, a little bit of what you fancy does you good. You can have a little bit of chocolate and the odd burger and, a, you know, maybe the odd packet of crisps. Mm. It's a problem when that becomes your diet. That's, you know, yeah. that's what they're but saying. But the thing surely. is, you have to kind of be disciplined, don't you? Because sugar, I mean, I'd be very strange if I had a lot of sugar. Lot of sugar. I mean, I'd be all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sugar away from you. Yes, yeah. exactly. But. I, so I do think you have to have control. The only thing I don't have control over is salt. Oh. Right. I'm a salt fiend. Are you? Yes. It's bad for you too much. I know, apparently. but you see, all right, who said? Who was the person who said it was no. bad for you? And what does it actually do? But you can't have chips without salt, can no. you? No. You can't. Chips. No, you can't have mashed potato without salt. Yeah. You can't. You can't have baked beans without oh. salt. You can't have a boiled egg without salt because no, it tastes true. yucky, doesn't it? Yes, but I'm not being funny, Sherry. You said today that you put salt on bread and butter. Oh. 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 <laughs> Listen, I haven't had a man for seven years. I'm allowed salt on my bread. <laughs> That's the, the least of my worries, isn't no, it? Really, actually, because salt is one thing that I'm so not bothered about, apart mm. from chips. I have to have it on chips, but I don't have it on anything else. I think my weakness is probably carbs, actually. Yeah. Mm. Bread, oh. butter, pasta, potatoes. mashed potatoes mm. with loads of butter in it. Yeah. You know, if I could get away with it, if I was one of these really naturally slim people that could eat anything, really that's annoying. probably all I'd eat. Um, I, I must admit, you know, you're talking about the whole, the whole sugar thing. <laughs> my addiction was, and it's really bizarre to say was, Chocolate. Um, this is going to be my first dry Easter because this is going to be my first Easter with, uh, without having any chocolate at all, which is unheard of. Especially, you know, if any members of my family watch, you will be oh. spitting their tea out, going, "What?" But Andrea, are you trying to say that you actually can't touch a bit of chocolate now? No, I, I basically, um, I was. I mean, I was crazy, especially Easter. This is my worst time of year because. Um, I would obviously you get given them, especially if you've got kids, you get given them, and so there'd be about ten in the house. So I'd eat eight of them. <gasps> um, just to well to save the kids, too much chocolate is not good for them. Um, but even before I had children, I can remember I ate my ex-husband's Easter egg, and the, the, the so you ate your ex-husband. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> seen for a while um, but uh, and on the stress of trying to track down an Easter egg after Easter when they're all gone I'd be you know going to little corner shops going got any Easter eggs oh, what? got an Easter egg around the back go on I'll give you anything I'll give you, I'll give you all my purse because there's something there, there is something much more tasty about Easter eggs than there is a bar of chocolate and it's the same thing it's the shell bit for me I love it and I've done I've done something terrible that uh, last year I did it and this year um, I um, came home from Birmingham after my family uh, a visit with like four or five Easter eggs for my family for Jake yeah. and I've, I've not showed them to him and I'm going to give them away to other children for presents so I won't eat them. Oh, <laughs> I know! They love loads! That's depriving your child. I can't, I can't, just can't do it. I don't want them in the house because they'll be in my stomach. You see that bit doesn't compute with me because I just hide them, eat them and then <laughs> everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah. I have to just one say I had an addiction to bananas. Right. And it was a oh, I did. I mean I would go in it would, they would jump in my mouth from anywhere. And I, I had to really I had to knock that on the head. That's a bad one. Okay. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> well talking of Easter eggs, uh, we thought we'd have a bit of Easter fun today. So uh, we've been joined by the Easter bunny. There he is. Uh, he's going to
to take you on an Easter egg hunt during the show. He's going to hide three eggs around the studio for you to spot. And we want you at home to keep your eyes peeled. Note down the colors of the three different eggs. Uh, you could be in with a chance of winning £200 worth of Ticketmaster vouchers. So uh, after the show, log on to our website where you'll find all the details on how to enter and the terms and conditions. You must be 18 or over to enter. Uh, entries close at 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday, April the 7th, and we'll announce the winner during the show on Thursday, April the 8th. So get, get hunting. Go to itv.com forward slash loose women.